every year we single out school groups, local political leaders, environmental activists, um, local high schools and colleges, people like you who have made a difference in their community. And my good friend, Debbie Flugel from Trees Forever is here to give out the Making Waves Award, and she would love to give you this award next year. Let's hear for Debbie Flugel. Good morning, everyone. My name's Debbie Flegel, and I'm with Trees Forever, but I am also on the Clean Water Celebration um, Navigating Committee, and I am the Making Waves Chairperson. Since 1995, the Clean Water Celebration has presented Making Waves Awards to individuals and organizations who make way for the water and the environment. We hope that making you aware of their gestures and our award winners, that next year we will see you up here on this stage. So we have six well-deserving individuals and organizations to present to you today. Our first Making Waves Award winner is Abby Erke. She is a student at Bradley University. And over the last four years of eating in the dining hall, she was witnessing an unusually amount of large, large amount of food going to waste. So she worked with the um, Bradley food service director and she started a small student-led compost collection program and now due to her efforts the entire university does composting full-time throughout the entire school so Abby Erke thank you our next award winner is the safe club at Illinois Central College SAFE stands for the Student Association for the Environment. They are a group of Illinois Central College students who work to promote sustainability on their campus and within the community. Some of the work they do inclu includes prairie restoration, removal of invasive species, litter cleanups, and promoting awareness on environmental issues throughout various educational events. Our next award winner, you are going to hear quite a bit from here in a few minutes, is Hannah Testa. She's our keynote speaker today. She is a 16-year-old honors student from Cummings, Georgia, a sustainability advocate, international speaker, and founder, founder of Hannah for Change, a nonprofit dedicated to fighting issues that impact our planet. Thank you, Hannah. Our next award winner is Better Earth Logistics. Luke and Yvonne Rosenbaum started Better Earth Logistics in 2015 after learning that a piece of the puzzle was missing in the sustainability cycle in central Illinois. They are making a difference by partnering with businesses who create organic waste, divert it from the landfill, and take it to Better Earth Compost, where it's turned into nutrient-rich compost right here in Peoria. Thank you to Yvonne and Luke. Our next award winner is the Nature Conservancy's Illinois Rivers Program Office at Emiquan. Um, it is a certified gold level LEAD, which stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Certified Building. They have installed green features such as solar panels, insulation, triple pane windows, LED lights, storage water, and recycled steel construction materials. In addition, they are able to use the invasive species that they cut down at Emiquan to heat their entire building in their new biomass furnace. Um, since March of 2018, their energy usage at this building has been zero dollars. So Jason Beverlin, thank you. And our last award winner for this morning is the Well Farm at Boris Field. It is one of the nation's first stormwater farms right here in Peoria, and it demonstrates how green stormwater infrastructure, such as trees and plants, can be cost-effective, drive long-term job opportunities, and help communities thrive. Um, 
in, located in the Peoria's first district, this project transformed a long vacant property into a vibrant community gathering space that super, supports urban agriculture training programs and protects Peoria's natural waterways. Each year, the Boris Field prevents 1.3 gallons of stormwater from entering Peoria's combined sewer system. So thank you to the conglomerate group of um, partners on this project and to accept the award is Jane Gerties from the city of Peoria. So every year we give out making awards to, to people and organizations who have made a difference in our communities and in our environment. Next year, I'd like to see some of you up here receiving this award. Thank you very much. And thank you to all of our award winners. Thank you all for the great work that you're doing.